Greetings fellow Gitalalians, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new guitar tutorial. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the guitar playing of Paul Simon and his picking style. There's a certain uh, song of theirs, Simon and Garfunkel's from back in the 60s, that was called Kathy's Song. And that's a beautiful song. It's uh, containing a lot of great uh, patterns. It's kind of based on Travis picking. But let's go over it. Let's see what Paul Simon is up to right hand wise. We're not so much learning Kathy's song uh, literally and we're not so much learning the lyrics or any of that. We're just trying to check out what uh, right hand patterns he does. So this is I find a very valuable thing to know to study Paul Simon and uh, right hand picking. So let's get right into it. Uh, we'll start with a G chord. 3 2 0 0 0 3 standard G chord everyone knows and loves. The way we're going to pick our G chord like Paul Simon is our thumb takes care of the low E string. Our thumb and middle are going to take care of the D and B strings. So you might want to practice just that. If you're new to Travis picking, you might want to just practice going. For a lot of you this is very easy so you can probably get through that no problem. And we have the second half of the measure where we're picking the low E string again with our thumb. This time we're picking the G string with our index and we're picking the D string with our thumb. So it's this constant back and forth between the E string and the D string with our thumb, which is a hallmark of Travis picking and many other uh, pattern uh, based styles of guitar playing. So you're going like that with your thumb. together. Hear the rhythm of that? One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Real slow, it's sixth string, pinch the fourth and second, sixth string, the third string, and the fourth string. Important to do that fourth string with your thumb. So we're only using three fingers to do this. Kind of a, um, like a Mississippi John Hurt uh, sort of finger style. Uh, a lot of people who do finger style guitar don't do it in the classical way where you use a lot of ring finger. They tend to stick to either just two or three right hand fingers. It's simpler and cleaner. But there are alternatives if you wanted to explore them. Uh, there's another chord that Paul Simon uses an awful lot, and a lot of folk-oriented people use this chord. It's called C over G. All you do is you take your G chord and you alter it to get this chord. It's a C chord, but it has a G in the bass. It's three X. We don't really do much on our uh, fifth string in this chord. Two, zero, one, three. I'll provide chord diagrams so that uh, you don't have to guess about these chords. But the first chord was G, now we're doing C over G. And that gets picked like this. So there I'm picking my sixth string with the thumb, picking my fourth string with the thumb, picking my G string, my third string open, picking the sixth string with the thumb, Picking that B string with the middle, picking the D string with the thumb, and finally picking the open G string. Another thing Paul Simon does in this song is he'll do a pinch on that first beat like this. So the pinch is on the sixth and the second strings, the E string and the B string. And that's thumb in uh, middle. So here it is with the pinch. And without the pinch. So that gives you a couple of the patterns that he plays in this song. He does other patterns on his G chord like this, for instance. And that's an easy one. That doesn't involve any pinches and it really only takes like two fingers if you want. Um, sixth string, second string, fourth string, third string. 
and then he repeats it. Sixth string, second string, fourth string, third string. If you need string names rather than numbers, E string, B string, D string, G string. E string, B string, D string, G string. E, B, D, G. Six, two, four, three. Lot of different ways to pick that as long as your thumb is going your thumb has to get the bass notes so um, you can do just thumb and index or that whole thing or you can get your middle involved on the uh, B string which is what I recommend doing pattern Paul Simon does on a G chord is to pinch the two E strings do the inside strings the D and the G and then do the E the B and the D like this that's a beautiful pattern let's go over that again pick the two E strings D and G E and B, and finally D. Here it is slowly. That's a classic Travis pick. Not too different from like Crosby, Stills, and Nash or somebody like that. You can do it straight with no swing. Kind of like Helplessly Hoping by Crosby, Stills, and Nash with a swing. Alright, and then finally I'd like to show you um, a pattern on a different chord that isn't a G and isn't C over G, but A minor. He does this pattern in Kathy's song where you're picking the, well I'll play it first and then I'll explain it. That was with swing and straight. That'd make a great uh, picking pattern for that Helplessly Hoping song by Crosby, Stills and Nash. If you're doing like Ghost Riders in the Sky or something like that, minor key song, that would be a good, uh, good picking pattern for that too. But for Kathy's song, we're doing the fifth string and the, the second string together, the A string and the B string. Picking the D and G, picking the A and the B, and finally picking the D. Here it is very slowly. kind of pace. Get to it real fast. And then you can do that on many other chords too. So what I'll do is I will provide of course a link down below that you can click on that gets you right to a recording of Kathy's song so you can hear it. I will also link to my tabs for this so you can see everything I talked about today written out in glorious tablature and uh, that'll really help you learn it. And of course um, there's all kinds of uh, tutorials out there on how to play the song itself. Um, not to take attention away from myself but to give props to an incredible acoustic uh, guitar channel that uh, I highly recommend. I learn a lot from this guy, Jerry's Guitar Bar. He's a British guy that teaches acoustic guitar like no other person on the internet. He's like absolutely my favorite to learn things like Simon and Garfunkel and James Taylor and stuff like that from. So big props to Jerry's Guitar Bar. I will leave a link to his site down below. I'm really glad you watched this and I encourage you to subscribe to like this video if you truly liked it and of course click that notify bell up there to get notified whenever I come out with a new one of these for the guitar learning channel and you can always visit my patreon page which I will link to below so you can grab some tabs of this and really learn this for yourself all right get to Laylee and you take care bye bye